It's just starting because what I view is they needed to ultimately show that margin story that it was going to rebound. And we saw just massive margin rebound in terms of for Tesla. And it's all about deliveries into next year. 20, 30 percent growth, much higher than anyone expected. Even the bulls like us. I think it's get the popcorn out. This is just the stage to this company being over a trillion dollar mark cap. I mean, you know, someone when I was asking about the competitive landscape said there is a monstrous difference between Tesla and Lucid and Rivian. Would you say that's right? I mean, not even in the same sentence? It, I mean, we're talking Mahomes compared to other quarterbacks, right? I mean, th this is just a separation from a scale and scope. They're going to have 2 million deliveries next year. I mean, a lot of these other, you're talking about 100, 200 K. What Tesla's able to do right now, now it's expanding that product line. You'll see Semi, you'll see Roadster, of course, Cybertruck's out there. So Levy noted a strong delivery number October 2nd could drive further strength of the stock into Robotaxi Day, the October 10th event which many analysts expect to potentially swing Tesla stock, considering Musk has called the company's push into autonomous driving the primary reason to hold the stock. $30,000 vehicle we think going into next year. That's ultimately going to be the key as this all ultimately plays out. And look, you go into this, me and you have talked about this the last few weeks. New York City cab driver was bearish in Tesla into this quarter. They showed the margins, they showed the delivery, and I do believe the robo-taxi takeaways was the wrong one that the bears came away with. This will be an autonomous and AI story over the coming years. You know, a Kathy Wood over at ARK Invest uh, sold 77,000 shares. Um, the closing price was 260.48, valued at over $20 million. Mistake taking some profits now? I mean, how quickly does this stock grow? Um, was that not a good move on her part? Second, and the Robotaxi event October 10th, who is among the most bullish on Wall Street with a $310 price target for Tesla, wrote he notably doesn't expect the October event to touch on the company's humanoid Optimus robots. I mean, it, it, it's all about, now clearly details were obviously scarce, and that's partially why the stock's down. But in terms of cyber cab, in terms of what we saw, what's really going to be over the next, call it 18, 24 months, you look at Optimus, in terms of what I view as robotics, where right now there's no value for Optimus in the story. And I think most importantly, in terms of the unsupervised FSD that's going to really be rolled out throughout all the Tesla models, at least California, Texas, into next year. And I think that's why, to me, I'm not talking in the next quarter to that's moving the needle. But in terms of the next few years, I believe it's a game changer to the broader story. You saw what might be, not what is. And there really is no real idea of when exactly this is actually going to hit the street. But that there is significant upside opportunity from here. Tesla stock is down 8% year to date in 2024. You want to take issue with that? Well, I'd say first, and look, uh, in terms of price per mile, I think the big focus was could they get under 50 cents? He taught, must talk about 20 cents per mile, potentially with taxes 30 to 40 cents. When you look at CyberCab, and I, clearly the two person CyberCab, this is something where as this goes through the next three to four years, there's no reason this can ultimately be 10, 15, 20% overall profits for Tesla as this all ramps up, just given what our view of the overall ride sharing market and what they could gain, and it comes down to 1.5 billion miles driven. So Barclays analyst Dan Levy, who wrote to clients he expects Tesla to report third quarter vehicle deliveries of 470,000 next month, above fact set estimates of about 460,000, calling for Tesla's first year over year delivery growth of 2024 after the first quarter's 9% and the second quarter's 5% annual decline. I think we look back at last night, three, four years from now, as a historical moment. And the reason I say that. Why, because they just think, because they held an event and, and, and showed you these. these Prototypes? Sure. It's, well, I think it's, it's more than prototypes because ultimately I think the next leg of the story in terms of autonomous, I believe they will be a clear leader in broader autonomous. And I think it shows now when you look at CyberCab, that's just one piece. I think the other reason the stock's down is Model 2, lower cost vehicle, they didn't show it. 
I think they're not going to show, we never expected they're going to show that at the event. I still believe that's the 2025 story. So I think broader, you look at, I think, demand stabilizing, just a, a robust China quarter. I think COGS is going to come down. You got Model 2 or 2.5 in mm-hmm. 2025. And then when I look at the future, next two or three years, you look at CyberCab, you look at Optimus, you look at just some of the parts. I argue the AI story, it is the most undervalued AI name. Deutsche Bank analysts estimated Tesla to deliver about 139,000 Model 3 sedans, 296,400 Model Y SUVs, a combined 13,350 of its larger Model S sedans and Model X SUVs and about 13,500 Cybertruck pickups in the third quarter. Levy noted a strong delivery number October 2 could drive further strength of the stock into Robotaxi Day. The October 10 event which many analysts expect to potentially swing Tesla stock, considering Musk has called the company's push into autonomous driving the primary reason to hold the stock. In recent notes to clients, Bank of America analyst John Murphy called the Robotaxi Day a potential catalyst for Tesla shares. In addition to vehicle deliveries due October 2 and the Robotaxi event October 10, Tesla will also report earnings October 16, with the stock historically volatile surrounding delivery and earnings reports. We are, frankly, struggling to see how the day can live up to investors' high expectations, Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas wrote in a note to clients last week. Jonas, who is among the most bullish on Wall Street with a $310 price target for Tesla, wrote he notably doesn't expect the October event to touch on the company's humanoid, Optimus, robots. Key Background Originally scheduled for August, Tesla's Robotaxi Day is expected to show off its latest full self-driving technology and the Cybercab, a driverless taxi equipped with Tesla's controversial autonomous driving program. The event will take place at Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, California. Tesla's pivot into driverless vehicles and artificial intelligence comes as the company grapples with slumping profit margins on its bread-and-butter electric vehicles. Though its stock is hot lately, Tesla shares have yet to recapture their pandemic peak, with shares down about 40% from their 2021 all-time high. $84 billion. That's how much richer the $263 billion man Musk, who owns 13% of Tesla's outstanding equity, is Monday than he was five months ago prior, with a net worth of $179 billion. The world's wealthiest man according to Forbes estimates, Musk is more than $50 billion richer than the next richest person, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, at $211 billion. We noted recently that Tesla was on course to record its best quarter yet in China, where a combination of a secular shift towards EVs and Tesla's demand-stoking bells and whistles have managed to counter any dampening effect from the onslaught of new competition. Additionally, the Cybertruck's production ramp-up is also expected to boost the company's quarterly delivery number. Now, as this trend becomes increasingly visible, betting markets are turning demonstrably bullish on Tesla's upcoming Q3 2024 delivery numbers. Meanwhile, Wall Street has currently pegged its consensus estimate for Tesla's Q3 deliveries at 462,000 units, with the whisper number ranging between 465,000 and 470,000 units. Tesla permabull analyst, Dan Ives, believes that, we could see a 470k plus number on the heels of strong China demand this quarter. In contrast, Goldman Sachs' Mark Delaney had predicted in a dedicated investment note last week that Tesla's Q3 deliveries would amount to around 460,000 units. Of course, beyond the upcoming delivery disclosure, investors are currently eyeing the Robotaxi reveal event, slated for the 10th of October, with visible enthusiasm. Tesla Robotaxi is expected to share the same platform that the EV giant intends to leverage for rolling out its cheaper sub-$30000 Model 2. For context, do note that Deutsche Bank now sees Tesla's fleet of robot axes swelling to 1 million units by 2035, resulting in annual revenues of around $15 billion. Piper Sandler is optimistic about Tesla's vehicle deliveries this Q3 2024, with the firm estimating that the electric car maker will see almost 459,000 deliveries this quarter. These estimates represent a 3.3% quarter-over-quarter growth and a 5.4% year-over-year improvement. The analyst noted that Tesla China seems to be on track to complete a record quarter this Q3 2024. These estimates could prove accurate, as Tesla China is seeing some momentum in the domestic auto market. As of the week ending September 22, Tesla China's registrations are up 19.9% quarter-over-quarter and up 18.5% year-over-year. Tesla China's year-to-date registrations are also up 2% compared to the company's 2023 registrations.
This is especially impressive considering that Tesla China's 2024 registrations have generally lagged behind its 2023 numbers for the most part of 2024. The Piper Sandler analyst also estimated that Tesla would be able to deliver about 1.75 million vehicles year, up about 23,500 vehicles from its previous estimate. Piper Sandler is not the only firm that has shared an optimistic outlook on Tesla's upcoming Q3 results. Wolf Research has estimated that Tesla may post about 460,000 vehicle deliveries in Q3 2024. Baird, on the other hand, is significantly more optimistic, with analyst Ben Callow noting that Tesla could deliver as many as 480,000 vehicles in the third quarter. That helped the U.S. automaker boost sales in July and August, according to data from the China Passenger Car Association, CPCA, after two straight quarters of declining deliveries. Analysts said the trend continued through the quarter and 12 of them, polled by LSEG, expect the Elon Musk-led company to deliver 469,828 vehicles, which would be its best third quarter, up from about 435,000 vehicles a year earlier. Chart on Tesla's deliveries since the first quarter of 2022 An estimate for the third quarter of 2024. China, which accounts for one-third of Tesla's sales, is a major growth driver, said Scott Akichek, chief operating officer of REX Financial, which offers exchange-traded funds that track Tesla's stock performance. Tesla, TSLA, has a big October, with both its Robotaxi reveal and third-quarter earnings on the calendar. However, the EV giant's first hurdle will be when it reports global Q3 vehicle deliveries this week, with analysts projecting the third-best total ever. Tesla shares angled lower Tuesday. If it sticks to its previous third-quarter delivery report schedule, Tesla should announce the data before the market opens on Wednesday, October 2. Analyst consensus has Tesla Global Q3 deliveries totaling 462,000 units, up 6% versus Q3 2023, according to FactSet. This total would represent the third-best quarterly delivery total ever for Tesla, behind Q2 2023's 466,140 and Q4 2023's record-setting 484,507 deliveries. Analysts project Tesla matching its record total in the fourth quarter, meaning unit sales would be flat compared to a year ago. Tesla deliveries could hit 470,000. It is common for delivery estimates to change in the days prior to the announcement. Troy Teslike, whose delivery estimates and Tesla data tracking are highly respected among retail Tesla investors, released his third-quarter delivery estimates late Monday. Teslike projects 472,000 total deliveries, well above analyst consensus, with 25,477 deliveries of Model S/X/ Cybertruck units and 446,523 Model 3/Model Y deliveries. Wedbush Securities analyst Dan Ives, a longtime Tesla bull, wrote Friday he expects Q3 deliveries will come in above the consensus view, with whisper numbers around the 465,000, 470,000 vehicles. We believe 3Q will provide a solid rebound looking to 2H for the company as China continues to heat up and price-slash-demand stabilization has continuously been seen throughout the quarter. We believe this quarter is a major step in the right direction for the Tesla story, Ives wrote. Looking ahead, Ives remains confident Tesla will hit 1.8 million deliveries for 2024. Last week, Barclays wrote that it expects Q3 deliveries totaling 470,000 vehicles. The firm said that Q3 volume strength will be driven almost entirely by China while Europe has been a weak spot for Tesla. Conservative Projections On Thursday, Deutsche Bank wrote that it expects Tesla Q3 deliveries to at the minimum meet analyst consensus estimates of 460,000 to 465,000 units. Europe and US appear to be trending lower in year-over-year -year terms while China is outperforming, helped by financing promotion and trade-in incentives, the firm wrote. RBC Capital analyst Tom Narayan last week increased his Tesla Q3 delivery view to 460,000, up from his previous 455,000 estimate. RBC Capital has an outperform rating and a 224 price target on Tesla stock. Meanwhile, Piper Sandler analyst Alexander Potter a week ago raised the firm's price target on Tesla to 310, from 300, while increasing the Q3 delivery estimate to 459,000 units and 1.75 million vehicles in 2024. Guggenheim Securities analyst Ron Jusico on September 20 forecast third-quarter deliveries of 456,000, slightly below the consensus view but well above the analyst's previous estimate of 435,000. 
GLJ research analyst Gordon Johnson last Wednesday projected that Tesla's Q3 deliveries will come in at 456,600, up from its previous forecast of 449,000. Johnson added that the buy-side whisper estimate is for Q3 deliveries to come in above 470,000. Tesla stock performance. Tesla shares jumped 9.3% to 260.46 last week, climbing back towards an official 271 by point from a cup base, according to Market Surge. Earlier in September, Tesla stock cleared an aggressive entry of 235. On September 5, shares popped above their 50-day moving average, buoyed by robust China sales and the EV giant's full self-driving rollout plans. Tesla shares jumped more than 22% in September after declining 7.7% in August. Tesla stock has battled back in 2024 and is now up 5% on the year, after rebounding about 90% from a late April low. Tesla has a busy October ahead. The EV giant has third-quarter deliveries this week, followed up with the Robotaxi event on October 10 and then Q3 earnings. Tesla stock ranks second in the 35-member IBD Auto Manufacturers Industry Group. The stock has a 75 composite rating out of a best possible 99. Shares also have an 84 relative strength rating and a 57 EPS rating. The analyst takeaways, Tesla's third quarter delivery figures will come before its Robotaxi day and should be the current focus from investors, Gianerica said in an investor note titled, Business Before Pleasure. Robotaxi. It's going to be a big day, bigger than the Catalina wine mixer. But before that, we have some business to attend to, the 3Q24 delivery announcement, Gianerica said.